All right, folks, welcome to this exciting video where you once again join me in the wild landscape of Scotland. And for this adventure, I've come to document this piece of history that we've never seen before on the channel. And it's this old farmhouse. Obviously come with the greatest respects, like landowners and building owners. There is a current like farm building over here, but I'm just wanting to look at this abandoned old house and take in the detail of its history. And look, I can already see it's been altered and changed at a certain time with this window getting filled in. This is a great example of an old Victorian Scottish farmhouse built in the 1800s. And it would have been a grand big farmhouse of its time. And look at the detail of the stone carving, even on this front little porch here. It's not just plain. And then it's had these incredible upstairs windows with the detail of the stone which is still left. And then look at this big doorstep. This is what I absolutely just love to see, folks. It's like each one of these little farmhouses is at a different level of decay. I can see it's had the old render, but also another detail, it's definitely had lath and plaster. And it's been quite a size of a farmhouse in its day. It's interesting though, because I'm not seeing any evidence here of a fireplace or a chimney, which is quite unusual. It is super unusual actually. Yeah, this is definitely an interesting construction. It's had the cupboard here. It is unusual that it's not got like a chimney though for a fire. Look at this, the old shelves. Imagine what household wares and stuff may have been kept on there at a certain time. Wow, let's keep this one moving, folks. Sometimes it's cool to do these wee adventures, just seeing a bit of history that's hardly seen, hardly documented. And it is unusual at this end, there's no fire either. Obviously in the summer, there's no way you could fight through this conditions. Check it out here as well. It's got this interesting hole in the construction. It has definitely had the lath and plaster and it is built like it's been a house. But the fact there's no fireplaces makes me think, has it been like a shed more than a house or a main farm building of its time? And look at this old door frame still in position. Just imagine how it looked the day it was put in. Yeah, this has been like a little kitchen or wash house area at the side, I believe. Yeah, it's such an unusual little building. This is like a back door and look, on the roof here, it's had the interesting like tongue and groove, like we've seen on a lot of the other Victorian houses and buildings. They used to do that at a certain time in Scottish houses. It gave it another layer of insulation. This has had a slight roof as well, which is interesting. Yeah, there's big chunks here falling down. Wow, what an interesting building. Yeah, because there's no fireplaces in here, I'm starting to think it must have been a farm building. And maybe not actually a house, but it's so unusual. It is so unusual, folks, because look how grand and massive this construction even is. It's been so properly built with the stone, and I can see it's had the electricity with the light fittings. And I'll go back out the front and take a walk around the perimeter of this building. We'll take in every detail. I can see how the roof beams in here have actually been cut off at a certain time. Yeah, and these windows have been bricked up quite crudely. But then maybe at a certain time it was used for sheep or something, and that's maybe what that little doorway's been. Wow, look how thick these walls are as well, folks. This is me in the doorway, and look, this wall here is like three foot thick. And look at the last remains of the paint there. It's been a green paint, believe it or not. Below that kind of mouldy, lichen mossy stuff that's on there. You can see some remains of the original green paint. And that was common on a lot of Scottish buildings, farm buildings and estate buildings. They were often finished with a beautiful green paint. Sometimes actually estates back in the day, they had their own colour. And every house door and building was painted with that colour. And this is just an interesting opening here in the building. 
because it's obviously made of proper stone it's so well constructed it's just mad like when i was driving past to see the character of it i thought it'd be cool to come and document it before it's gone forever look how perfect the render is at this one part imagine when the whole building looked that good that's obviously the smooth limestone render that was like over the top of all that roughness originally then they covered the rough stone with that and dressed it and it would have been so grand and light inside yeah it's just so cool folks i think maybe all the sheds may have looked like this at this farm at a certain time so i can see there's windows up here like it's almost been a loft or like a second story and after exploring it fully that's how i often enjoy uncovering the level and little details of a place always when i've driven past i've thought this was like an old farm house whereas actually i think it's a victorian farm building and probably the house is in a, at another location maybe still even a current house look at the bars on the window here then there's an old tap i think maybe there's been a truck or something in there maybe even when the boy's been doing a bit of shepherding he's been looking after lambs or whatever in a building like that Wow, it's such a massive construction. When I was driving past, I thought it's interesting just to come in, document those little bits of history for a short video, and it saves the history for future generations, because each of those, like, years that passes, these old buildings decay and degrade, and the little details of them goes missing, and before you know it, it's just a forgotten pile of rubble, a pile of stone out on a, out on a wild land. And I've just been basically pushing through that incredible landscape there to document. I can see all the sheep here have come into the field, so I'm not sure if they thought it was like feeding time or whatever. And then there's like another interesting mound here in this field with trees up on the hill. Sometimes that can be the site of like an old, either an area they used to use for like a little settlement or a shed. Sometimes trees were simply just planted like that to break the wind over the land. So it is interesting to see bits like that which has been left over the years. But there we go. It's been a short wee video. We've documented what I thought originally was like a Victorian farm house. Which it may have been and then it may have been converted into a farm building. But I believe there may have even been another house or whatever here which is now destroyed and gone anyway i'm going to end this video here folks thanks very much for watching and i'll be back with the next adventure wherever i end up going